Ah, oh, hello, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Friday evening. Nothing gets past me, and I thought we'd have a quick Friday pop up just to see how you all were and to see what you were up to. And if you'd got your notifications set so that you could get a good old chat with Scotty McClue on a Friday night. Very important. And of course, it's always interesting to see who's about because although it's Friday night in the UK, it's uh, different times throughout the world of course and uh, there's Tony Mack and Susie Forrest a very good evening to you guys Gordon Roddick Dinky Doo lovely to have you with us as always and I know I don't give you much warning we just pop up there's Ian Roach and Bertha King Patton very fine there in Port Glasgow James Clough Mark Chippert, hello, how are you all, and dinky do. I thought uh, just a quick Friday night pop-up to say hi, see what you're all up to. dinky do, James, all the best to you, from me, Scotty McClue, lovely to have you with us. Tell us what you're up to right now, because I'm always interested in what audiences are up to on a Friday night. Audrey Titchen, marvellous, lovely to have you with us, and of course, a very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClure. Where's your cap? My cap is here, Brian. Do you wish me to put it on, or uh, will we just press on? Scotty, give us a dab, man. Oh, a wee dab for you. Jeff Bernstein, dinky do, Alex Robertson. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. Let us know what you're all up to, of course. Very, very important. Uh, good evening, says Jeff Bernstein. Good evening to you. Is it Steen or Stein, Jeff? Do let us know, because I like to get people's names right. I think it's important, and I think it's respectful. What a carry-on we've had on uh, the uh, channel this week. Uh, playing golf, Castle Milk style, says James Clough. Absolutely, sir. Joel Andrew Woodfin, how are you tonight? Hi, absolutely. Hi, Scotty, I'm having a long soak, says Susan, uh, down in Lancashire there. Quite right, too, Livy. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Scotty, I think you should be on during the week on Nation Radio. Of course, we used to be on Friday nights, but it's a Sunday night on Nation Radio now. Hello from Marcella. Ah, Scotty, says Jerry Marr, dinky do. Good evening, first lord of the internet, says Carol, Carlos Donnelly. Hello, says Susan Cowan, Andrew McLean. Right, bro. I right, Andrew. Uh, we need Scotty McLean on the radio, mate. We need something in your name there. El Salvadori. Hello, Scotty, says John Kelly. David Lafferty's watching. Welcome, David. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And uh, Steen, Scotty. Jeff Bernstein. Lovely, Jeff. I like to get that right. And what about the Jeff? Have I pronounced that right? They'll say, who was that? Blanche Flower. There we are. Just let me check again. Uh, who have we got here? Vicky. Good evening, Scotty McClue. How do you do? You can still dab, Scotty. I can dab big style. Excellent. Larry Donaldson. Welcome. Vicky's my chick, Scotty. Aha, I see. Excellent. Al Salvador, Stallione, Savior. Lovely to have you with us Sunday night. Throw a strike, mate. Um, have a wee red wine at four and uh, home watching the TV. A wee red wine or four, says Alex. Home watching the TV tonight. Excellent, Alex. That's the stuff. Now, get sharing, guys. I've deleted my app till you're back, says El Salvador. No, El Salvador, you must not do that. We are here for you to say dinky do. Very important. I'm just turning this down because I'm going to do some sharing. The guy behind you in the photo, is that your younger sister? That's me. There's the dog. See the dog? Uh, Gordon Crate. Hello. Dinky do and a warm welcome to Scotty McClure on a Friday night. Shell James, how are you? Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us, of course, James Finn. Hi, James. Uh, Jeff Bernstein, that's a fantastic picture on the background, Scotty. Can you see that one there? That's right. And there's another one beside it. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you that later. Uh, Mark Gibson's watching. Ross McKenzie, welcome, welcome, I say. <coughs> Let's start telling the nation, shall we, that we're here and that we're all together again. When you're back on the radio, uh, Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, tell John Cameron, Sean Betty. Uh, so uh, say hello to Sean Betty. So shall. Just celebrated 14 years and managed to Mrs. Mac. You give her a mention, please. The long-suffering Mrs. Mack. 
<laughs> Only joking, Tony. A wee merry jeep. As you know, I know you two are as happy as Larry. Uh, I was just sleeping, says Susan Cowan. Well, you're not sleeping now, Susan Cowan. Hi, Scotty, Craig Bell. Uh, it's about time you're on TV on a Friday, says Alex Robertson. Alex, I think if we put this onto ITV or to the BBC or to a television company right now, the viewing would go through the roof. Right? Now, not because I'm an oil painting. I'm more than an oil painting. I'm more than an athlete. We know that, of course. Uh, Karim Sakaria, uh, wonderful Friday night rock and roll, says Susan. Big style, my darling, big style. Right, I'm just going to get this ready because, as I say, we need to do a bit of sharing. See what the clue's up to on here. Uh, see if we got that through. There we go. Wonderful stuff. And you can share as well, folks. It shouldn't just be up to me. You can do a bit of sharing. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do, says Kareem. Hello, Kareem. How do you always manage to be first on the radio, Kareem? Fantastic. Well done. Paul Cruikshanks, Dinky do. A very warm welcome to you from me, Scotty McClue. Friday night, nothing gets past me. I can tell you that for nothing. Big style. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do. Dinky do to all of you. Lovely to have you with us. I've just got, I've got another wee device here and I'm just uh, sending this round so that we know we are up and running. Fantastic. So there you go. Excellent stuff um, and wonderful stuff. Right, Shell, all the rest of it. So can we stop that now? So, okay. So there we are. I have to take that down, darling. You can't put that sort of comment up. Uh, Susan McGuire in your kitchen, says John Cameron. No, John, unfortunately she's not. I believe you, Scotty, I've said for years you should be on TV. I think so, Alex, but uh, of course, people say, well, it's no quite an oil painting, you know, but that's nothing to do with it. Dinky do, Scotty McClue, top man, says Paul Crutchanks, John Gallagher, Robert McMinn. Hello from Rab in Bigger. How's things doing in bigger tonight, Rab? Dinky do to you, I say. Lovely to have you with us. Was this pop up a good idea? Do you think? Evening, Scotty. Everyone getting ready to listen. Fancy giving the usual crew a big Scotty shout out. Daisy, Leela, and Stacy. Obviously, myself. You're looking well, big man. El Salvador, Stallione, Savior, Scotty. Why don't you bring the people on here for a chat? Well, we probably could, actually, but I don't know if I'd be able to hear you. It's a thought. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting one, that. Right, can everybody get sharing as soon as possible? I'm trying to get this thing to work so that we can um, do a bit of sharing on here. And if you can do the same, uh, you bring video icon up. Oh, excellent. That's how it works. Paul McGuinness, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue. Friday night pop-up just for you. Thank you very much for asking about the hat. But it's just it's roasting hot in the studio tonight. So I haven't quite got round to that. Uh, I'm just trying to see where this is. Marvellous, marvellous. Right, I'll share that one. And that's going round. There's 27,880 of you have watched one of the videos. Amazing stuff. Fantastic, that. I've been in TV, and I'm not an oil painter, says Alex Robertson. Oh, Alex, you're harsh on yourself, I say. Harsh. You're looking very suntan, Story Mac. I know. I've been away at a secret location. And, um, you know, it was quite sunny. It's quite sunny, so it's good stuff. James Byers watching. Um, up in East Coast Bride there, Dinky Doo. Neil Holgate, Dinky Doo, is chucking it down in Dunfermline, says Jeff Bernstein. It's chucking it down in Glasgow and in Edinburgh. It's chucking it down right across Scotland. It's rained for about three months. So there you are. I don't know what is going on. Very strange. Let me know if you're watching in America, by the way, guys. Oh, well, here we are. Here it is live, right. So, what we can do, we can watch with that. Well, we don't want to do that, so we'll share it, right? So, a couple of you have shared it, can have a lot more of your sharing, and just let everybody know it's on. So, I shall say live streaming now. Okay, live streaming now. Live streaming now, would that be fair enough? Would you all bite for that one? Live streaming now. 
Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Live streaming now. There it's coming through. See if you can get that through. Susie told me the party's in the big man's house. Scotty, in summer, the rain gets warmer, says Nori Grosier. Yes, it does, Nori. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's roasting out there tonight. I'm absolutely roasting. That's why I've not got my bonnet on tonight. So there you are. Uh, wonderful stuff. Now, that's got shared. I'll see if I can also share it uh, in another group as well. I think that's important. So keep this one going around, live streaming now, we can say, and let everybody know what's going on. Share your story. This is your story. This is your song. Wonderful. Uh, Marvellous. It's up there. Friday night pop-up talk show. Good. Excellent stuff. And that is running as we speak. Shared. Bob McIntosh, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. Scotty McClure's Friday night pop-up just for you, dinky do. How is the lighting, folks? Is it all right? Can I do some adjusting? Uh, some of you professionals, Gordon Roddy, if you're still watching, how is the lighting? We need to know. I need other television professionals. You always need somebody to tell you. Scotty, can you give some words of comfort to David Rindle? His hamster drowned today in a tragic accident. I am so sorry. I know how much one loves a hamster. Uh, Fiona McRae. I think the hamsters were originally from Syria. Nikki Harvey winning. Thank you, dear. Can't stay long. Sorry, Scotty. Alex, don't worry about that. Uh, I know you mean well, my boy. Mark Finley is watching. Dinky do, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. Top broadcasters. How is that? Is that too dark? Is that just going off altogether? Is that better? Tell me what you think, guys. Come on, you all know. That's too dark. No, that's no good at all. Uh, what we got here? There we go. How's that? Oh, how's that now? Oh, oh my goodness me. There we are. Is that all right? Is there enough light? Can you see old McClure? I see. Uh, Billy Hunter's watching. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us, Billy. I hope all is well. Friday night, of course. As I say, nothing gets past me. And we're just doing a quick pop-up to let you know. Scotty, uh, what do you get hanging from apple trees? A row. There we are. The lighting's been really good. Best yet, says Kareem. Is that all right as it is, Kareem? Is that absolutely fine? Uh, turn them right out, Scotty. Says Billy. Ah, very good, Billy. <laughs> a wee joke. A very joke, Billy. Good for you. Brilliant, Scotty. Good light, says Rab Mitmin. Excellent, Rab. Dinky do. Thank you for that. Uh, sore arms. Very good, John. Ah, sore arms. Hanging from an apple tree. Very good. I wonder if Adam and Eve read the apple terms and conditions. That's what I was just thinking there. Now, um, to your telephones. Oh, yes, you can't go to your telephones. I forgot. We're on uh, Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, that is lush. I'm crying buckets here. That hamster for... Two fabulous years. David Randall, please don't be too upset. I think hamsters generally live around two years. Am I not right? It was a Russian dwarf hamster called Vladimir, says Gordon Sterling. Gordon, you've always got a kind word for those who are bereaved. I thank you. That is marvellous. Oh, we're needing a bit more light here. It's quite difficult to see how we're going to get it, mind you. Uh, right, so that's that. Um, Vladimir, yes, yes. What a nice name, of course. Thinking they've got naming after the big wigs. Um, so, Nori Grozio, Dinky Doo. What are you drinking, Scotty? I'm at the orange, <coughs> orange squash. Mm. Same as you see at Wimbledon. That kind of thing. You know, McClure's a sportsman and an athlete, as you know. I love you, Scotty. If you want your roof fixed, gives a PM. John Cameron, dinky do. I might just do that. So there you are, because the roof is 40 years old. Uh, Scotty, says Alan Wright. You're quite right, Alan. Not a problem at all. Now, what do we got on here? Are we getting lots and lots of hearts and things? Marvellous. This has come up as a video. I find that very, very strange. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave that uh, and take that away. And then we'll see what's actually happening. This says watch together. Watch together. Oh, that looks better. And there's another video there. Right. What is going on here? 
So it's come up with a couple of videos. One of it stopped. Don't worry about the light, Scotty. Get building a boat to save us all. I know, from the Brexit. What do you think of the Brexit? I mean, do feel free to have a comment. I've been argy-barging with all sorts of nutcases all week, and I had to actually block a couple of them. Um, I'm younger than you, uh, so John. Oh, I can still do a bit of roofing, John. I can get up there with the best of them. No problem at all. So there you are, you see. Before health and safety, I was up huge big ladders as a wee one. Marvellous stuff. So there you go. In the days when they used to put the wings up the chimneys, just after that, they still put young McClue up the ladders. Wonderful. Yes, oh, you'll be a lot younger than me, John. You'll be at least a year younger than me, if not more. You know, that sort of thing. Hi, guys. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, saying dinky-doo to you. Scotty's a legend. Scotty for Prime Minister, Robert T. Kerr. Do you think I should have gone into politics, folks? Would I have made a good PM? A nice steady hand on the tiller. Uh, Stirling, no, wait, his bed, his pipes venue. Uh, you've got the pipe band championship, Gordon. And we're hoping you'll be solo piper of the year. A shambles on the Brexit front, trying to push for independence to escape this madness, says Jeff Bernstein. You're a donkey, you're fitting well. Uh, Sir Robert Johnson, absolutely, with that wonderful First Minister, indeed, absolutely, Robert. Um, so there we are. Billy Hunter, yes, we need to get McClure into the Parliament. I always remember um, <clears throat> it was mooted that I might stand as an MP in Glasgow when there was a by-election. Somebody said, but just make sure you're serious about it, Scotty. I said, why is that? They said, because there's a fair chance you'll get in. Uh, Brexit is based on nothing but blatant racism, yes, xenophobia. Um, hoping Corbyn can stop it before it's too late. Interesting, Robert. Politics just got interesting yesterday, didn't they? When Mr. Corbyn uh, started to show his hand. Say hello to Cara, says Robert McMinn. Absolutely. I'll do it for free because I love you, says John Cameron. John Cameron, you say the nicest, nicest things. You really do. Alex Glass, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, Scotty, you're the best, says Paul McGuinness. Paul McGuinness, you didn't have to say that. That was very kind of you. Very, very nice of you. As I say, you didn't have to say that. It's wonderful stuff. Do we need more lighting? Um, tell me how the lighting's looking, guys. You get a better idea than me. So it's wonderful stuff. Can we all share, 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 share this video? Uh, hello, we need you on the radio more, says Peter Lockwood. Well, we're on on a Sunday night on Nation Radio, Peter, so we can get going there. So feel free to come on and give us your best chat. I uh, see, it's wonderful stuff. Also looking for there are all sorts of things here. And um, Dinky Doo, says Paul. Scotty for President King and all. So there we are, wonderful, the king, the king of Scotland. You crack me up, Scotty, says Paul McGuinness. Well, you crack me up, Paul. So it's mutual, it's not a problem. Fair exchange is no robbery, you know. <coughs> Pardon me. I had a wee bit of a chist. We chist last week. Mm. George. George McGlashan, dinky do. Wonderful Tracy Cunningham, dinky do. One of our finest broadcasters. And Tracy's joined me tonight. I am much honoured and privileged, Tracy La. The old Scott FM was good, says Norrie Grosje. I know, but get yourself on to uh, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and put in Scotty McClue on Scott FM. I will come. The light is making your hairline go further back. No, it's cause I'm very tall and I've grown through my hair. You see? Uh, the light's shining in your head. Well, it will be, actually. It'll be a wee bit glistening. We maybe need a bit of a mop doon. Fantastic stuff. I'll maybe run and get a mop. I'll, I'll run and get a mop for a mop doon. Would that be a good idea? Um, there we are. Boris Johnson's doing a good job for Scottish independence. So Tony Mac. <laughs> Live the lush life, Scotty. Oh, Paul McGuinness. We haven't even scratched the surface, la. We're just beginning. The fun is just beginning. I need to get myself a big, powerful job somewhere I can be of great use to you all.
Hello, Paul. Hope you've had a good week since Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Thomas Hamilton. Always lovely to hear from you. We've had an excellent week and dinky do, I say. Now, I'm going to see if this thing's letting me share. It wasn't letting me share. It was asking if I wanted to do uh, uh, one of these shows. Give us one more dab, King Scotty. Hey, hey. Woohoo. There you go, John. Uh, Ian Kerrigs and stuff. David Treasurer's watching. Another very, very fine broadcaster. All the top broadcasters come and join Scotty McClure's pop-ups. Hey, Scotty, I hope you've good, mate. Always good to see you, says Alexander Hunter. Always good to see you, Alex. Excellent stuff and good chat. There you are. Um, if anybody's got a wee point to make about Brexit, feel free to do that. Uh, we do all that sort of chat. Absolutely. Now, I was just going to... I think what I'll do, if you'll all hang on, I'll nip for a mock doon because I don't want to embarrass you with too shiny a head. Thanks, my man. You're a legend, says John. Uh, you're not moving, says Thomas Hamilton. Oh, I'm moving. I'm moving. Oh, oh. We're moving. Fantastic stuff. So there you are. Lots and lots of moving going on. I'm just going to nip. Don't worry. Don't you all go away now. There'll be trouble. So there you are. Stay where you are. I am not going far. Yes, indeed. The apple never falls far from the tree. That's what I always say. Can you still hear me? The apple never falls far from the tree. Oh, that's better. So there you are. Scotty, do you do twerking? I, I do, Shell, but I shan't do any at the moment if that's all the same to you. So there you are. Uh, thanks, Scotty. I hope you're good. David Treasure, David Treasure, always good and always lovely to hear from you. A very fine radio man, excellent stuff. And um, always good to hear from all of you. Uh, I've got the bonnet here, by the way, if you think it's getting a wee bit. Big man's getting a wee bit bald. Do you prefer the bonnet on or do you prefer the bonnet off? Uh, so that this is it on. Do you like it like this or do you like it like that? There they are. You have to decide. Uh, give us a twerk for the nation. No, you're not getting a twerk. Stop it. Stop it. I say. Cease. Cease. Desist. Desist. Mm -hmm. Another wee sip of the juice. Mm. Oh, that's gorgeous, that. Now, let's see what's happening here, because at some point we're going to have to get back on here and see what's what. Marvellous. Um, so I'm just going on to that. There we are. Been a busy, busy week with the news. You've frozen, pal. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, we're all right. We'll get on. we voted for independence. Yes, we need to get on with it. They're all shouting. Bonnet, says Susan. What the bonnet on? Right. A bit of a baldy without the bonnet. There's the bonnet. How's that? That's better, isn't it? You like that? Bonnet on, Scotty McClure, says Tracy Cunningham. Yes, you're quite right, Tracy. Uh, you're off your bonnet. Says so Alan Beards, you will make my decade twerking, Scotty. Over the face with the bonnets. <laughs> Get the bonnet down. It's that I'm a better further back. I'm always wondering. Uh, we've got another hat. Um, I wondered what you thought about that. Bonnet on backwards, says John Neary. Bonnet on backwards. A wee touch of the... Frank Spencer's, is it not? With the bonnet on backwards, I always feel. I don't know, what What do you think? Do you like that? <laughs> Very chic. So there we go. I look like a member of the French Resistance <laughs> during the Second World War. <laughs> bonnet off, bonnet off, says Susan, bonnet off. There we go. Um, you're the most famous bonnet in the radio system. It was a very, very famous bonnet. Shona Singh. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Shona. Lovely to have you with us and welcome to Scotty McClure's Friday night pop-up. Uh, we are really in a depression, says Peter Lockwood. We are, Peter, but we need to cheer ourselves up with Scotty McClure. Uh, you've frozen on my phone, but you're still talking. Well, Thomas, you'll need to get your phone sorted then, son. Dab and twerk at the same time. Oh! <laughs> God, fantastic. We've just done it, John Cameron. Now stop pushing it. Excellent stuff. Um, the rest of you, Dinky Doo, is everybody sharing this? This is what I need to know. Is everybody sharing this? Right, I've got my clue up here on another device. So I'm just going to see 
what we're getting here. Fantastic. No, nothing on that at all. That's very, very strange. How very, very silly. Right, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another device up. Uh, buckled, thanks, says John. Yes, you're great and you're honest, says Peter Lockwood. I am, Peter. I am very, very honest. I have huge integrity. So I don't know. I might not uh, make it. Try a coming and going, says Evelyn Fraser. I beg your pardon. That's very personal. Well, I see what you mean. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, what they used to call a go to hell hat, uh, um, a deer stalker. A Sherlock Holmes. One of the Sherlock Holmeses. That's that. You twerk better than Susie Maguire, says John Cameron. John Cameron. That's very kind of you. A very, very kind man. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to see. You might see a wee bit. I'll have to adjust you all up a wee bit, I think, because I've got to get this by. So this other device was the working. So <laughs> What a carry on! Then I'll have to move you over. You can look at a photo of my clue there. That'll keep you all out of mischief for a while till we get sorted. Right, that's that. I just had to dip that and get that passed. Um, wonderful. So we've got that on the go now. We'll move the drinks because we don't want that. Uh, a bit tight for space here. <coughs> a wee bit tight for space, guys. Excellent stuff, but we'll be back in a second. Don't panic, I always say. I always say, don't panic. So I'm going to get on to that. On to that. Who said don't panic? Oh, yes, Corporal Jones was great for don't panic. Remember that. A Yorkshireman, says Peter Lockwood. Who is you or I? I, that's it, Peter. Bit of Yorkshire, you know, you can't beat it. You need a pipe and slippers to go with a bonnet. They are. Thank God I'm off to university to study TV production at UWS and Air. After I graduate, I'm off to America. Well, you, after you graduate, you start producing Scotty McClue, Robert T. Kerr. You get yourself in there, you'll make a fortune. Uh, Scotty, when do you think they'll be holding Indie Ref 2? Well, you see, what they don't understand, this Brexit thing, is supposed to be people who are, um, what can I say, old British little Englanders and that. They want their country back. Their country hasn't been anywhere. They talk about the EU. It's our EU. We're all European, have been for 50 years and a lot longer. Gary Drummond, dinky do. I had somebody arguing with me about the monarchy this week, and uh, I was explaining to them how... If Scotland wants to be independent, it will need to sort things out with the monarchy. And had all these idiots are, oh, they've got all that money and all the rest of it. Just a lot of rubbish. There you are. July football Scottish and John Cameron. Who the hell has big photos of themselves in the wall? Are you for real? Says Robert Johnson. Yes, I'm for real. I get presented with them, Johnson. People give me, um, Robert, sorry. People give me photos of myself just in case I've forgotten what I look like. So there you are. So that's who the hell has photos on the wall. People who are given them by other people who seem to care. Gordon Stilling's watching. Dinky do. Woo! A wave to Gordon Stilling. Let's all wave to Gordon Stilling. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. And uh, there's everybody there. My goodness me. A lot of people here. Um, I'm going to finish off my HND in radio. It'd be great to have you as a teacher. You always inspired me in radio. Well, Dinky do I say Tony Mac and good luck to you because you're a very very good student very very important excellent stuff and welcome to all of you I say I've seen a lot of students in my time and uh, I've taught a lot of different things to a lot of different people excellent stuff I'll put you in a movie Scotty Robert T. Kerr that's a deal that's a wrap I'll tell you for why I'd always wanted to do just one little role in my uh, in my puff. So there you are. I think there should be either a Scotty McClue movie. I love your photos. Handsome. King of the radio and social media. So there we are. But um, I've always fancied just one one little part that everybody goes, oh, I remember him. But I'll tell you, a man I miss greatly, I was just saying to someone the other day, is Robin Williams. Loved Robin Williams. So clever. Original, original comedian. And, um, of course, um, he got on downers, the poor la, uh, you know, but I do miss him. It was great fun. Wonderful Roddy Morris is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Roddy. Um, gonna be my dad, Scotty. I'll adopt you. <laughs> 
a doctor dad. How fantastic is that? Stephen Lipton, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, of course, to our Friday night pop-up. Lots happening. Legend, says John Boyle. You are indeed John Boyle. You are a legend. And it's always lovely to have you with us. Respect and respect to you, John Boyle. That's what I say. And big respect to everybody. I was saying this had some people on argy barging about uh, the Queen this week, and I was saying, look, it's just basic respect. It's a deal, Scotty. Thanks, Robert T. Kerr. We shall make Scotty McClue the movie, or Scotty McClue will appear in some massive, massive movie. Just enough for people to go, did you see Scotty McClue in it? <laughs> oh, I know he wasn't the big star, but... Oh, what a laugh. So there you are. Same here. A comic genius, says Robert T. Kerr. I thank you. I thank you. Stuart Main, how are you? <coughs> oh, listen to me. <coughs> oh, my chest. I do apologize. Lovely to have you with us, Stuart. And uh, a very warm welcome, of course, to every single one of you who's just joined us. Time for a wee mop down, a comfort break. It is hot, hot, hot in the studio. And I warned you, I actually warned you all about putting on the bonnet. That's why I had the bonnet off at the start. Nice one. Glad to have you back. Mom to my house, I'll pay for your taxi. Never mind, Susie McGuire. This is John. Fantastic. There we are. Susie, of course, is one of our finest broadcasters. Now, have we got enough light? That's what I always wonder. Uh, need a holiday, a week off, a week off, Stuart Stevenson. Woo! We love the jokes. Excellent stuff. It'd be great to see you in the Scottish drama, like River City. I thought I'd make a very good, um, scary crim. That kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I'll be keeping an eye on you. All that kind of stuff. There we are, so we'll try that. Uh, no, as nice looking as you, but... Oh, John Cameron, come on. You're being very harsh on yourself, I say. Uh, Scotty, you're the next James Bond, Cara says. Rab, thank you for that. We've always wondered. People we saying the next James Bond might be a lady or what have you, but I thought, no, 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 no. Give Scotty McClure a crack at the job. I'd have to get down to fighting weight again, of course, <coughs> to take on uh, the people in Spectre, but, uh, but we'd get there. Marvellous stuff. Does anybody remember the great Robert Morley? And uh, he was about my size and, uh, well, sort of out the way. But he used to do these superb parts. And there's a film based on Alistair MacLean's When Eight Bells Toll. So there's a movie, When Eight Bells Toll. And um, Robert Morley is the admiral in it. And uh, he comes up and catches some of the crims, shuts a deck hatch and somebody's eat stuff like that. Brilliant. I think you should have been on Still Game. You'd have been amazing. Kareem, yes, it was interesting. It's still Game. I always thought they would want to have something to do with Scotty McClure, but they were doing their own thing. So there you go. Uh, Mrs. Molly, son. I that's it, Mrs. Molly. Hello, how are you, dear? Uh -huh. Jonathan McAllister. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do right now let me get on to this because we need to get sharing now there was a wee problem with that other wee device some funny things come up excellent stuff has everybody shared share 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 i think before we go tonight we want to get these numbers up so that implies quite a bit of sharing guys so let me on here so I can do a wee bit of sharing. That'll get the numbers up. <coughs> Scotty, love tuning into your live chat. Cheers. Uh, all in scorching Canada. Whereabouts in Canada are you, Alison McMillan? Do tell. Spill the beans. Because it's roasting over here, but it's bucketing. You know, it's all, everybody's going a bit daft. Marvellous. Oh, there we are there. There we are there, Lynn Donnelly Dinky. Do. Right, so I'll just share that. Excellent stuff. We pop up, let everybody know what's happening. <laughs> it's on there as a video, though. It will do, Scotty. Yes, indeed. Uh, still game. Go back to Scott FM. 
You are the real old guy from Scotland, Scott FM. I mean, what was that like? That was an incredible setup. It really was. Everything was just right. For once in McClue's life, he was in the right place at the right time with the right people. Marvellous. And then, of course, oh, Winnipeg. Oh, excellent. Winnipeg, Manitoba. Am I right, Alison McMillan? Winnipeg, Manitoba. Fantastic. You've got a wonderful ice hockey team, the Winnipeg Jets. Am I right? Yes, yes. I used to have a family member involved there. The hangovers get worse as you get older. I've overdone it a bit with the refreshments. I think I'm getting old. Well, a good hangover can last you a day, I have to say. But I don't get them now because I don't drink. So that's rather good. So I like that. You know, we like that. Oh, yes. And uh, if you want to do... um. Share to a page. I don't know why we've got all these little um, bits. Am I still coming out live? S uh, speak from the hip always. That's why you're my dad. Scott FM. Uh, good company on the night shift, says James Cunningham. James Cunningham, I thank you for that. Excellent stuff. So I'm just going to see if this will share. And I shall put live now. Marvellous. So there we are. Excellent. See if we can get this up, guys. So let's get a bit of sharing. There's a wee bit of sharing going on there. Uh, that's rather good. We like that. I'll do a bit more sharing. I'll share in a group. We like that as well. Yes, says Alison McMillan. Excellent. Winni Winnipeg, Manitoba. And the Winnipeg Jets. Nice to see you on Facebook Live, says Vonnie Cannon. Are you on Nation Radio on Sunday? When are you on Facebook Live? Over the weekend, what we used to do, and it had a massive following, was a Sunday night show on here, Facebook Live. Yes, says Heather Moore, excellent stuff. Give us some hearts, guys. Come on, let's have hearts, hearts. Tap, 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 tap. And let's see if we can get the numbers up. That would be good. So I'm going to put this out. Just going to share this and uh, see if we can get that going. Uh, the group name. <clears throat> uh -huh. So if everybody can share, that would be fantastic, folks. Very, very good of you. Um, share on your timeline. There we are. Share on a friend's timeline. Scotty, unbutton your button and you'll get more viewers. Scotty the hottie. Oh, what are you at, for goodness sake? Do my button up and I will get more viewers. That's what it's all about. I can tell you that for nothing. Right, that's just posting. Again, folks, see if that lets everybody know. Almost breaks at time. Excited, says Mark Jippert. Mark, I don't think that will come. I think the only thing that will be, uh, um, you know, leaving uh, on the 31st of October will be a Halloween party. So there we are. On yourself. <coughs> You've got something in your chin. Eighth one down. No, no. Eighth one down. Very funny. Jamie McElwham. No, it's psoriasis, Jamie. And a poor soul made a comment about, oh, you've no shaved king of the razors. No, I don't think so. And then I had to explain to him it was psoriasis. Of course, the poor soul was embarrassed. He's going, oh, sorry about that, Scotty. I didn't even realize. So there you are. So that's what it is. They hope you're going to eat, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. We have Tom. Fantastic stuff. Now, is this still going? Oh, there it is. That's excellent. Good. So that's sharing. And what we'll do is <clears throat> uh, do it, do it. Unbutton your button. No, no, no. For goodness sake. Uh, so there you are. We can't be doing that. Oh, what would people think? That's what I say. Right. Uh, how's your dog doing, says Tom? He's doing very well. He's coming up 13, Thomas, you know. So, I mean, that is pretty amazing, isn't it? When you think about it. That is pretty fantastic. I'll just do some more sharing. There we are. If everybody can share as well, just share it. Uh, right. Thanks, John. Very kind of you. Scotty, you're hot. <laughs> Uh, I remember you when you were on 105.4 Century FM. This is Derek James Overy. Absolutely. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Now, there we go. What have we got here? Share to another page. So I'll just share that as well. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just sharing this around. And as I say, if you can all do the same, that'd be wonderful. There's a page called Dinky Doo on Facebook. Uh, 
I'm making you laugh, so John, you are John Cameron. Scotty, have you ever had a reach around in a taxi? Yes, I've had to reach around inside my pocket to get my wallet out, Jimmy Macklewham. So there you are. That's what I've had to do, Mr. Macklewham. Excellent stuff. Reach around to get the money out to pay the boy. So, wonderful stuff. Now then, how are we doing for time? We've got to another few minutes. Yes, seven minutes. I'll stay with you. Then I have to dash because can you believe it? We've been up here for 54 minutes. Now that's just incredible. People would say, what do you find to talk about? What, what do you talk about, Scotty? Say, well, we talk to the people. What's that? Says Angel Snedden. Scotty. Uh, would love to see a wee podcast with you, George Galloway and Tommy Sheridan, says James Cunningham. I used to work with Tommy. I remember Tommy very well. And George, of course, George had the um, the mother of all talk shows. But I always used to say to him, Scotty McClure the daddy of them all. Uh, Rudy Zach Westminster would have sat back and watched Ferguson's. Uh, and all the jobs go, oh, yes, interesting, Rudy, yes. Well, uh, Peter McKechnie, 39 minutes, it says here, Algin. Well, it says 54 minutes here, Algin. So we'll see. Um, how come you're not on the radio? No, no, we're uh, Friday nights, they want their music, club nights, Saturday night. Love the calls with you. And John from Southport and YouTube. Yes, it's not John from Southport, is it? Who's at the phone from Southport? Um, are you on again tomorrow, Scotty? On Facebook or on Nation Radio? 96.3 FM. Uh, James Rackawam's laughing. Peter McKechnie used to go to sleep listening to you. And with my, na at my nana and papas, says Peter McKechnie. Bless you. Fantastic. It's incredible. The people that used to tune in to Scotty McClue. The audience is approaching quarter of a million per half hour. <laughs> It's just amazing, isn't it? Uh, Angel Snedden, dinky do, that is lovely of you. Uh, John from Castle Milk, uh, Heather Moore, dinky do, Facebook. Yes, Heather, we could probably make Facebook a regular thing. As I say, we did a lot of Sundays in the audience. Right, there's one twenty-seven and a half thousand 27,500 people um, have watched it. Move stations. They don't know your worth, says Angel Snedden. So the, oh, Angel, I think Scotty McClure has moved stations enough, to be honest. Uh, you need to get your own chat show on the telly. I think this would go well on the telly on a Friday or Saturday night interviewing big, big names. Put it on ITV or the BBC or something like that. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Alistair King. Hello, Alistair. Lovely to have you with us. Now, Alistair, you're just the man. I need to ask you, how do you get spark plugs out if they're jammed in? So, you'll just be the man, because I know you're very good with the old mechanics. And um, Angel Snedden, lovely to have you with us. And a big smiley bit. Woo! Fantastic. You're such a sweet person. We like that. Tremendous. Now, uh, what have I got here? I'm still sharing and sharing like mad, but if I pull out my little universal thing, then what, I, I, if you'll pardon the expression, my, um, my, what do you call that bit that goes in, that plugs into the side of your computer? I pull that out, the lights are on there. That'd be lovely, Scotty. Yes, you once advised us that you might consider standing as an MP, Scotty, with a general election around the corner. Are you still interested? Would you vote for Scotty McClure? And what party would I stand for, you see? Because uh, none of them are exactly very exciting for a man like myself. And I need to be able to tell it like it is. There's the wonderful Bobby Gracie. Bobby Dinky Do, what a top man you are. Uh, flash Drive, says Tony Mac. Um, is that Flash Drive? Is that a, a drama or whatever? Uh, Heather Snedden. Yes, as Angel, she's telling Heather Stedden to tune in. So you would need to advise me, folks, if you wanted McClure to stand, what sort of stance would you like me to take? Would you like me to take Scotland into independence? Or would you like me to take Scotland back into the Union with the right deal? 
Ooh, all that. Uh, spray them with a bit of uh, WD-40, use the correct spark plug key, and stun it with a wee hammer, and it should come out. Yes, I know what you mean. Give it a ton. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much. It's an alloy head, Alistair. It's all right on the alloy head. It's not a cast head. Uh, Scotty, MP for Scotland, says Kareem Zakaria. Uh, that's the thing at the side of your computer. Absolutely. Heather Moore, uh, but if I pull, I've got um, just got one of them. You know, you get several wee sockets. What's the term for it? That wee plug, for goodness sake, it's the tip of my tongue. Should be the Scottish Minister for Broadcasting, says Tony. Absolutely, I was widely tipped to take over the Scottish Broadcasting Company, if uh, the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation if um, we'd got independence in 2014. There's only one political party to get behind. If you want independence, any other party is an impediment to securing normality for our nation. Take Scotland to independence, says Heather Moore. A USB. Woo! Now, that's not the name of a party. That's the wee plug we were talking about. The USB. Fantastic. Uh, you should do as you please with your life, Scotty, but you'd be a terrific advocate for Scotland, says Angel Snedden. I thank you, Angel. Uh, why you got a picture of Chevy Chase on your wall? That's actually me. Um, if needs be, I'll come and do it for you says Alistair King. What a lovely, lovely offer, Alistair. Thank you. One more thing, Scotty, ask Google what cornflakes were invented for. You'll be surprised. A USB port. Is that the wee plug you talk of? It is. USB port. And that's on the left. It'd be USB starboard if it was on the right. So there we are. Oh, a wee maritime reference there for you all, just to say dinky-doo. Now, have we done lots and lots of sharing? What else have we got here? Share to another page. Fantastic stuff. I will have to push off because I'm seeing that I've been on here a wee while. Um, oh, yes. We'll send it to the World's Top Talk Show. There's another Scotty McRae page for you. I shall pop that up there, and we'll get this washing. Now, do us a favor, guys. When I push off, share and share and share and share this for me. Fantastic. Uh, you already are, but yes, thank you, Angel. Please say you love me, Scotty. <laughs> John. <laughs> Full of nonsense, this man. What is he like? Time for a mop-down, what we call a comfort break. Ah, oh, the heat. Honestly, you have no idea. I was probably, if I was a plant, if it was a plant, do you get it? it was a plant, the audience? Uh, please say, you love it. yes, we got all that. Night, Scotty, you need to go before I get in trouble with Mrs. Mac. Yes, that's an hour. I have to go. I'll sing the goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitor zain, au revoir, and a cheery o. ta -ra, my darlings. Take great care of yourselves. Have a fabulous week. And join me on Sunday night on Nation Radio, 96.3 in the FM, <coughs> www.nationradio.scot. If you've enjoyed tonight, of course, you can get on to Scotty McRae's website and you can put a pound into the donations. That would be lovely. If every single one of you put in a pound, oh my goodness, good night, McClure, Gordon Sterling, happy piping tomorrow. We pipe made your swing there, very good. You're mopping under your carriage. You're under carriage. <laughs> good night, Scotty, good night, Scotty, good night. Good night, my darlings. Mwah! Woo! Dinky-doo, Shona Singh, good night, dinky-doo, la-la. <laughs>